everybody! Welcome back to Desert DIY and if you are new here, my name is Cory. Today I'm going to give you a quick tour of my chicken coop. This chicken coop was a Mother's Day gift for me and I'm very excited about it. So I hope you enjoy. On the far left side here, this is our nesting box where they lay their eggs. Here is just um, a gate that we can open to clean the poop out. <laughs> and then this used to be a opening for the chickens to go into. That's my rooster bear. You'll probably hear him a bunch of times. But this whole section right here and some of the cedar in this section we got for free. Somebody was getting rid of a chicken coop that they moved into a house and didn't need. So um, we went with our trailer and picked it up with a few friends and brought it here and repurposed it. In the middle you can see some of my chickens hanging out together. This right here, that's Hootie. We named her Houdini because she was an escape artist when we first got her. My male rooster down here in the back, that's Barry. The other little one is Iris. I don't know if you can see her. And then this is Nellie. She's the grouchy one. But all the materials you see around here are all reclaimed, repurposed except for the galvanized roofing. We had to buy that and they are, I can show you the size of the panel. Starts here, ends right there. And they're six feet long and about $13. This door on the coop we picked up from a restaurant that was closing down. I spent $5 on it. It's solid wood with beadboard in the middle, and it's awesome. It was actually a bathroom stall door. <laughs> um, we did purchase the latch, which we got at Home Depot. It was probably about $5. And then the Welcome to the Coop sign, I think I got that at Ross many, many years ago. And Oh, and the base of the chicken coop is um, made of railroad ties that we spent $5 a piece on. And then we filled our chicken coop with sand. Some people don't like using sand for their own personal reasons, but I feel it works much better. <laughs> okay, Ooh, before they move. This one right here is pepper. This is lemon. This right here is fluffy, also known as rosy. And then this one in the back is Thea. They are our babies. Can you believe they're still babies? <laughs> they're only about four or five months old. This is their baby food jar, which our grown-up chickens think belongs to them. And then we were um, we're actually planning on hanging the feeders. We just haven't gotten around yet to putting in the ceiling supports for it because these get really heavy when they have food and water in them. Say hello. Hey, Fluffy. She's our biggest baby. Can I come in? <laughs> I'm coming in get kind of shy. So we built our coop in a way that it's going to be completely shaded all the time. Our winters are not very harsh for chickens. Chickens actually do really well in winter weather. So uh, we don't worry about them getting sunlight in the winter time. Although they lay a lot less when there's not as much sunlight during the winter, but that's okay. They need the rest. Now, this came with the coop that we got for free. This I picked up, this ladder here, I picked this up out of somebody's garbage. I don't remember where or when, but I do know it was garbage. If you ever see ladders on the side of the road, just grab them. You can break them in half and use them in your chicken coop a million different ways. And also, this side of the coop is tall enough for us to stand in. But the rest of it is much shorter, so we have to duck. So I'm going to do my best. So, yep, like I said, the floor is made of sand. It's good because sand helps their poop, like, decay and decompose much more quickly, and it doesn't stink. Helps keep the fly population down, <laughs> and it's easy to rake. Over here, I haven't cleaned poop in a little while, so if you see lots of poop, that's why. And also, they scattered their food in there <laughs> when we were doing construction on this thing. They had to stay inside that little coop and they spread their food all over the place. Now here is a roosting bar which is why there's so much poop underneath it. 
This is just a few days of poop, guys. <laughs> Chickens poop a lot. But they do need a lot of places to roost at night. So we have some places up here inside where they can stand and they feel safe from predators back there. If you look all the way in the back, you can see there's an egg already. Those are their nesting boxes. I have put in nesting materials in there so many times and they just kick it out. Oh look, there's another egg over there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. There it is. So I just let it be bare and it makes it easier to clean the poop out of those too. But this is where they sleep at night. And they sure have a lot to say about me being in their house. There's my Barry the rooster. That's him right there. He's a bantam and so is his his little mate there, which means they're miniature sized chickens. And then the, this girl Hootie in the back, she's an Easter egg or she lays green eggs. These little ones haven't started laying yet. But this one, little Nelly the grouch, she lays white eggs and those are her eggs that you saw. I wanted to talk about the nesting box a little bit. The nesting box um, needs to be secured because no matter where you live, you're gonna have some kind of predator. <laughs> Raccoons specifically can open a lot of stuff. So we have a latch here and we have a latch on the other side. So if they get one open, they'd have to find the other one, which usually they're not that dedicated. But you can see in here, we've got some eggs. These are just the nesting boxes. And then you just close and latch it again. We like that it has ventilation in here. It's so hot in the summertime, no matter where where you are in the south part of the United States. So I would highly suggest having more ventilation than you think you need. There's also ventilation on the roof area, although we do have an issue with wild birds getting in there and hanging out in the coop. And that's a problem because they spread disease. So we're going to put in some chicken wire there. The roof is just a green corrugated like plastic or fiberglass. Um, I wish it was metal. I don't like how the green looks, but it was free, so I can't complain. And then all the rest of the materials are just reclaimed random stuff I picked up on the side of the road or just had left over from other projects. This area in front of the coop, I'm in like a half circle shape, is going to become a planter full of um, native species plants like aloe vera and some things that are edible for chickens although there's so much to choose from I'm not sure what I want to put there yet but it has to be something that doesn't need to be on an irrigation so stay tuned for that I'm not sure yet what I want there on the opposite side of my yard uh, I have this what I call the chicken guest house it is a little kid's playhouse made of cedar that I turned into a tiny coop. This is where I raised my baby chickens. And it's also a good place to have around just in case you get a chicken that gets sick or hurt because chickens are really mean to each other. And as soon as they see a sign of weakness, they will pick on them. It's so sad. So we keep this little guest house here just in case we need it and obviously We'll end up having more baby chickens. Well, thank you very for the input. But we will eventually have more babies. We get more chicks every spring, so we just keep adding on to our flock. And this was adorable, and I got it for free. Somebody had it on their curb. The fencing around my little chicken guest house is just pallet wood that we secured into the ground using little short, I think they're three foot tall engineer sticks. And then we have some edible plants around here for them to eat as well. Um, this is, in Arizona, we call this a tombstone rose, but the real name for it is Lady Banks Rose, and this has white roses on it in the spring, sometimes in the fall too. Grows really well, it's sort of drought tolerant. This is another edible plant that I have on my chicken side of the yard. It is uh, called Cape Honeysuckle. Honeysuckles are almost always edible, and chickens love them. Well, that's my chicken coop. I would definitely like to, in the future, show you guys more about caring for chickens and the things that I do and don't do in my coop, like talking about how to um, keep down parasites, mites, things like that, things I feed them, the mixture of food that I feed them, 
the things that are a little more in detail. But I figure I'll start with just a good old tour, a <laughs> little house tour of my chicken's home. I hope you enjoyed it. I am so ecstatic to have this done. And um, there will definitely be more about chickens in the future on my channel. Just might have to wait a little while after this baby's born. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.